Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons. Imagine that you have sequence from five animals. This is DNA sequence and you already have phylogenetic tree, but you forgot which sequence belong to which animal. How we are going to find out if you have only letters and sequence. We should start with building a table. So we have species A, B, C, D, and E. And we also plot here A, B, C, D, and species E. Now let's do a table and we are going to compare sequences of all these five species. So our table is going to be five columns and five rows, total 25 cells, but we are not going to use all 25 cells and I'm going to show you just in a moment why. Because if we compare sequence of the species A with species A, there are going to be zero difference. If we compare species B with B, also going to be zero difference and so on for all species when we compare with themselves. And when we compare these sequences between species, we are going to get some differences and the more differences we have, the more distantly related would be animals or species and closer to each other sequence would be, then they are going to be closer related. You also have to understand that we compare, for example, species A and B and A and B here, we are going to get in the cell the same numbers. So we are going to get the same numbers below this diagonal line and above this diagonal line. We don't need a clutter, so we are going to cross all these cells and we are going to use only these cells. Now let's compare sequences of the species A and B and let's find how many differences they have. So we compare species A and B. So first position the same, second the same, third same. Here we have one difference, two differences. So when we compare this two species, we have two differences in DNA sequence. So now let's compare species A and C. So we're comparing species A and C. So no difference, one difference, no difference, no, no, no. So only one difference. So let's put one here. Now we're comparing species A and D. So species A and D. And first nucleotide difference, two, three, four, five, six. So these two species are different in all six nucleotide positions. Now let's compare species A and E. A and E. One, two, three, three differences and the rest are the same. So let's put three in this cell. Now we have to compare species C and B in order to fill this cell. So comparing B and C. So no difference, one, two, three. So three differences. So let's put three here. Now let's compare B and D in order to fill this cell, B and D. So let's highlight B and D. One, two, three, four. Four nucleotide differences. Now let's compare species B and E. So we compare species B and E. B and E. So one, two, three, four, five. Five differences. So let's put five here. Now let's compare D and C. D and C. One, two, three, four and five nucleotide differences. So we put five 
here. Now we compare species E and C. So E and C. One, two. So only two nucleotide differences. Let's put two here. And the last one we compare species D and E. So we compare species D and E. D and E. So same, 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 one, two, three. Three nucleotide differences and we finished our table. Now let's take a look at our phylogenetic tree and as you see the greatest distance have to be between this species and this species. And in our table the greatest distance between species A and D. But where we can put D and A? We can put for example A here and D here but also we can put A here and D here. Which variant to choose? Now we have to find the smallest distance which is going to be between these two species and we will find which letter we have to put here. And the smallest distance as you see is going to be between species A and C. So now we know for sure that A have to be here and D have to be on this side. And because we know that on this phylogenetic tree the smallest position would be between these two species and we know that this is species A and the smallest position have to be between species C and A, we instantly know that bison is species C. Also according to our phylogenetic tree we understand that dog would be the closest species to elephant and that means that from D to this species have to be the smallest number of DNA changes than with any other. So let's find D and here is a D and let's compare with all the rest where we have the smallest number. But don't forget that we compare here species D and A, D and B, D and C. We do not compare D with D because it's going to be zero of course. But do not compare also D and E. And we can find D and E if we compare this D and this E. And the difference is going to be three. So they are not as closely related as these two species. But still we know that dog is uh, abbreviated by letter E. As you see on our phylogenetic tree we already gave a position of the species A, C, D and E that give us the name uh, abbreviation, one letter abbreviation of the chimp as B. So we put B here. So now you know how phylogenetic trees are built based on the sequence of the DNA. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.